foiled. I must go to the West Quarters. <laughs> <laughs> it's one o'clock in the morning. I'm grabbing my phone and headphones. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm like, I'm taking a shit. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I just have to shit. <laughs> Full boner getting up. I've been laying next to her for an hour to fucking. <laughs> oh, I just woke up. <laughs> I have to shit. I remember being in middle school in class being like, I have to masturbate <laughs> now. And then I'd get up to go to the bathroom. And then I'd go, I'd get up and I'd have a massive boner. And instantly I'd be like, what the fuck am I doing, dude? And then I would just go back and to the And then you'd bus. go back to the kitchen where your mom was teaching. <laughs> <laughs> you were definitely homeschooled, dude. I was not homeschooled. All right, quick. What middle school did you go to? Don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> you don't even know. You were absolutely homeschooled. I was not homeschooled. Can you show you my yearbook photo? Please. I, I actually can't. I have no idea how I'd find that. <laughs> it's a Christmas card. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. I forgot all about that. What an insane thing to say. That's like That has to be like the, the, the best like slight insult. Just ask oh, someone yeah. if they're homeschooled. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. No, I don't know a single person who's normal who is homeschooled. Except me. You. You were You're homeschooled. Normal. I was homeschooled, obviously. Oh, you fucking asshole. I was the captain asshole. of the football team. Yeah. <laughs> homeschooled. I was in the backyard running drills. You walked on. My dad was like, someday you could be a captain if you keep doing this. <laughs> doing ladder drills in the backyard. Hitting the sled. Yeah, it's so sick. There's hitting nothing the sled better rules. Hitting the dude, sled I see bros, sleds. Dude. I'm like, oh my God, I wish. Although that was like kind of the shittiest part of practice. The sled? Sled was shitty. You could also fake lift on the sled, though. Yeah, but then the I was tackle, so you could really tell uh, which, it was hard to tell. who was pushing. Yeah, as a guard, you could be comfortably in there to fucking... Center, you're fucking <laughs> yeah, chilling. Chilling, yeah. Yeah. That is true. They start spinning, yeah. You can't start like... spinning a little. The coach who's riding, it's like, come on. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. What are you gay? Like, I'm uh, fucking sixteen. Yeah. You fucking drunk. <laughs> you weird drunk. <laughs> we were talking about just dudes high school like in high school, like dudes will like grab you. Mm. You know, like a coach will be like, now, come on, hit me. You oh, can yeah. hit me for real. It's not gonna hurt. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> while you're holding like the shield, you know that like pad, he'd be like, Now you get under it and you fucking drive up. <laughs> Jesus, coach. We had a coach. My f- <laughs> they all did that. Yeah, they hold, every hold morning. It, I'll show you. I'll show you. Yeah. yeah. You're like, this hurts. <laughs> we had a freshman coach that challenged our running back to like a one on one drill. <laughs> and he was obviously not wearing pads. Yeah. And he got cracked in his face with a helmet. Oh. <laughs> he was like, oh. Just blood. It was wonderful. We had a, probably, we had probably a, loved it, dude. Oh, it was sick. <sighs> we yeah. had a high school baseball coach who was like playing catcher, like in practice. Got hit right in the arm. Arm like exploded. Really? Shattered. You were a high school baseball player. No. Just, just got, made his way around the town. Oh, you just, just watching from your window. <laughs> from your bedroom. Just... <laughs> Here's all the chain yeah. <laughs> One day I'll be a real boy. One day I'll play baseball. 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 <laughs> got home. Like, Mama. Mom, what's baseball? <laughs> Baseball is the devil. <laughs> I invented baseball. <laughs> oh, man. Little sass man. The best, dude. You didn't play baseball? You strike me as a baseball kid. I played like youth baseball. Yeah. Never high school. Do you play any high school sports? Through Jav for a season. Through Jav, dude. Yeah. That's nice. Really? Yeah, Jav was awesome. Well, yeah, how, how far were you uh, tossing that thing? Not far. It was. It was not. We weren't like a serious team. Okay. It was just like track was. There was no tryouts, so you would just sign up. Yeah, track yeah. and Field. I so I threw. School. I yeah. threw jab for a bit. Threw shot put. Oh no, I didn't throw shot put. I, I threw disc a couple times. Disc is nasty. Disc is awesome. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Disc yeah. is cool. I threw shot put because yeah, there's no other shot putter on my grade school track team, so I made it to like the area championship. Yeah, that's exactly what would happen. I got smashed. Dude. Yeah, you're like I'm the best. Chop wood thrower on earth, dude. I thought, like five I dudes that thought I was Hercules. Yeah. I was the only dude. I was just yeah. tall, strong, fucking chop Yeah. You ever see that video? Of that guy getting racked in the nuts by a chick doing like the hammer throw? No. No. Pretty awesome. 
Well, they, they have, they have standing next, like the judge standing directly next to it. It's the one where you like swing that. Oh no! Right? Isn't that the hammer? Oh, yeah. that's not still. She, a, they, she lets go like right here. It just goes straight into a guy's oh, crotch. That's I, hurt I thought there was an event so where ladies much. just throw hammers as far as they can. I was like, never seen. Yeah, they don't one. even know what hammers are. <laughs> Hell no! Like, what do you throw them? <laughs> <laughs> no, idiots! <laughs> have you ever done axe throwing? <laughs> no. Never That's been. supposed I've to be crazy. It. I, doesn't it? I have it, tried. It, I always get scared because they said that it can bounce it, back. I've at seen you. videos. Yeah, I've of seen it where they come back and almost hit people. I saw yeah. Lemare hitting the axe throw. He was at the Dave and Buster's hitting the axe throw. Yeah, at the DMB. While you yeah. were fucking hitting the fucking Star Wars, he was. Oh, on, you were axe throwing there. He was on the axe. Throw. How were yeah. you on the axe? It was all right. It was pretty nice. I found the video of the like, lady hammer throwing the jack. hammer throwing straight <laughs> to the dick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's pretty pretty awesome, yeah, right? It's pretty nice. That's what we're saying. Guys getting hit in the nuts is hilarious. You ever see that fat guy get hit in the nuts in the opening pitch? No, no. Oh man, they have like a you know how they have like famous people in yeah, the yeah. opening pitch. Yeah. Somebody somebody just throws it terrible. There's just a fat photographer standing in the back, just straight in his nuts. Oh, pretty wonderful. I've seen the the videos of the it. tennis dudes awesome. getting the, te- the the ball boys ball boys getting, getting hit smacked great. in the yeah. nuts and then they have oh. to like for some reason I don't know what their like rules are but they have to like pretend like it medieval. didn't happen what? yeah and tennis and they're just tennis like, has like <gasps> medieval rules yeah of like you're not allowed to make noise you have to yeah. sprint get the ball and then yeah, so he gets weird. smacked in the nuts by like a ball going like a hundred miles per hour like, and then he just has to hurt. stand there and just eat it like nothing happened fat guy getting hit awesome. <laughs> Unbelievably funny video. God damn. Yeah, tennis is. <laughs> I mean, he's fat and gets hit in the nuts, dude. Yeah, that's kind of not. <laughs> fat guy's falling is another fat one. Guy's just... falling. Fat guy falling on a German Shepherd taking a shit on the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. One of my favorite videos of all time. I tried to do that as like material. I remember that we were at uh, Ferg's. Isn't that what it was called? The upstairs place? Yeah. I was just sitting there like showing you and Blizz that video on yeah. repeat. And I was like. There's my material for the night. Yep. I got on stage. I was like, there's a fat guy. (laughs) This German shepherd takes the shit. (laughs) People in Philly were like, this guy is next. (laughs) This is unbelievable. (laughs) Describing YouTube videos again. He's back down. (sighs) That is one of the funnier videos. The fat guy falling, just sli- his fat foot slides out on a <laughs> giant pile of shit. <laughs> we were watching, uh, we were watching videos of dudes splitting their pants, but their their dicks come out. Too. Yeah, the you best. see that one where the kid drops it low. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we were. I was it's literally so just. Have you seen it? Yeah, it was yeah. awesome. And then who was the musician that did it? Oh, Lenny Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz's dick popped out. Yeah, you haven't out? seen this? Mm, I don't know if Watch I have. This. Watch this one. Let me, see what Let me get in there. Let's see what Kravitz is working with. Definitely a hammer. God, ready? <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. Dick's coming out on the That might be. You think that's the best your dick can be when you're fully crouched down? It, those dudes' dicks are huge for how for being completely soft. Yeah, dude. Especially when you're performing at a concert, he's got to be zero soft, like zero <laughs> blood imagine, in his penis. I would imagine there's not much. And it's Although, still hanging. You this are looking at that whole is. front row being like, you will be mine. Yeah, I could fuck any yeah. of you. But no, I was pure hanging. Kravitz has the ham, American bro. woman. That fucking gay dude dancing with his pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have it right now. Cock. This one's so fucking <laughs> yeah, funny. Yeah, it was great. Hero. Yeah. That was <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Massive dick. That's wild. Oh, fuck. Yeah, what time is it? Oh, yeah, shit. We got to switch. Yeah, let's, let's jump. You gotta switch over. Let's jump, jump, jump. Uh, Sass, thank you for joining us. I was actually just listening to Sass's recent podcast with LaMare Lee. Yeah. Son of a boy oh, dad, yeah, LaMare yeah. Lee. So I, I was listening to the one with Billy Spud, too. Yeah, you guys really like our show. <laughs> Why, did we talk about it? <laughs> no, you just have all our guests. Oh, yeah, I know. We the do. War Mode app was... I haven't seen Lamezy's one yet. I'm sure it's a treat. It is. I've, I've seen half of the War Mode one. It's War Mode's great. great. War Mode was really fun. Those guys are great. Lamezy episode's great, too. Lamezy was great. Can't wait. Coming People in loved confident. Lemaire's. People loved Lemaire's. Lemaire's is so confident. Yeah. You guys should definitely hire Lemaire for, at Barstool for gaming. Gaming uh, gaming podcast would be big there. Plus, they need an African-American hire. They do. They do. You get, yeah, and you were saying that all the big uh, fight video game guys live in New York. Yeah, they all live in New York. You could bring them in, yeah. challenge them, get your ass beat every yeah. week. My dream. <laughs> Just get dommed by fucking alpha nerds. Yeah. Alpha Street Fighters players, yeah. Dude, that's pretty You could good call idea. it Street Fighters Pizza Rolls. 
Street Fighter mm-hmm. pizza rolls. Get a, yeah. get a plate of pizza rolls for every guest. Dude, it's sponsored by Tostinos, dude. Come on. To, pitch, it, yeah. pitch it to the big guy. You, I'll get you, yeah. yeah get him in geez. touch with Portnoy. Get him six figs. <laughs> yeah, I will. Dude, hell yeah. So we found the perfect guy. Sure. I'm sure they would do it. Yeah, I think you could actually do it. You said it on the podcast, and I was was sitting here playing MLB The Show, and I was like, we might be on to something. <laughs> it's playing game three of the NLDS. Yeah, if you go in with like a concept for a show, they would probably do it. Not bad, dude. They'll give it a test run, and you'll have viewers right away. Yeah, yeah. true. Unlike most of them. But true. you know what else would help is a hot slut. Ooh, yeah. They yeah. sell tickets. They'd come. You, you get one. You could get one hot gaming there. slut. Ooh. That's like a big streamer yeah. thing, too. It's not. They don't even need to be gaming. They, could, they just sit in yeah, the side. Yeah, make her smoke there. a cigarette the whole time, yeah. too. Yo. <laughs> Through a silk glove. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you had a hot lady smoking cigs the whole time, it'd be actually Big nasty. tits. Put her in like a nice dress. Yeah. Every week. Get it. Dig up some old porn star. Mm. Get some old war torn porn star. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll get on it. <laughs> Hurry up and do that because it's going to be successful. Yeah. I could watch you play video games <laughs> and lose. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Yeah. You'd get one, though. Yeah. You'd get one here every now and again. You could also fuck with the controls a little, too. It's your yeah, house. Just cheat. Put yeah, yourself you should on start e- cheating. Yeah, put them on like super hard or yourself on easy and just fucking. Yeah. That would be actually really funny if you're cheating against like expert gamers and they're spazzing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? You have to play blindfolded. You can't. You can't play straight up. All right, let us do the ideas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sass. Sass. thank you, bro. Yeah, what a, thanks what for a having treat me. to have you, buddy. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. You're welcome to stay if you want. Yeah, we're going to stay. All right, we're gonna go to the Patreon. Thank you. Bye. The Wild Wild West. Perfect timing, dude. You don't even need to ask. You you know we're ready. Yeah, man, for real. You put a mic in front of these three guys. There's gonna be gold. <laughs> yeah, dude. This is this is what we do, man. It's just all the. You didn't get any of that stuff. You we didn't just get doing? us. We were fucking showing our tail we feathers. Fucking killing it. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you get to be number one on Patreon? Gold. Blood, you recite tears, YouTube dude. videos. Yeah, yeah. That's how you get good. It's crazy that you guys are number one. Is it by a lot? Is it dude, crazy? Right? Yeah, we beat that murder. I never thought we'd beat the murder mystery people. No, well, yeah, no one beats the murder mystery people. I saw it people. coming a mile away. You can check you? on oh, yeah, that yeah. Graftreon thing. True. That makes you can sense. see like last three months, last six months. I saw I saw our influx. I, th- I thought they I were. Said, we're going to skyrocket. I just thought them. they weren't fucking. You couldn't defeat them because they had like the perfect niche. Well, because it, as long as people keep getting murdered, they still have stuff to talk about. True. Although I, I feel like yeah, I feel like those guys don't stay hungry, though. No, those dudes hit number one and they instantly fall apart. We, yeah, stayed we got hungry, hungry. We did get hungry. We got hungry and hungry dogs run fast. <laughs> <laughs> Sass, welcome to the fucking Patreon family, dude. That Thank shit you. we were doing before was whatever. But now we're the Patreon. <laughs> now we're going to get into the now shit. Now this is the real stuff. But now this is where shit. we say it. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Sass said it in during the break. <laughs> no, dude. Yeah, we were playing UFC and I beat him and he came out. My cat, my avatar. He was like, "Why you pick that?" I was like, "Dude, whoa!" Dude, dude, you said, "What the dude. hell is even that?" <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to get that game. Bert, yeah, it's a, it's a curse, dude. Bert uh, gave us these sandals, and they gave me these are too big. Mm. And I was walking to the coffee shop today, and my sandals kept falling off. Mm. And I had to touch the sidewalk with my beautiful bare pigs. <laughs> <laughs> How'd that feel? <laughs> Made me feel really stupid like having sandals fall off while you're walking. <laughs> yeah. On the sidewalk in Queens, yeah, yeah. It's disgusting. My, I, I caught one of those front fold downs this morning. Oh, oh you, those are bad. It stubs <sighs> your toe. It's terrible. I didn't it stub. Thank God I didn't stub. Yeah. I stubbed my toe getting out of a. I've got, I've got one summer. I got hit with two different oil slicks at gas stations. I was big into sandals one summer. Yeah, and oil slicks at gas stations. Are, Fuck you up. Dude. Yeah, yeah, true. Hit one, jammed my front. I got like turf toe. Oh. <laughs> I got like an NFL injury. You got club foot. I got an absolute club foot. And then Florida State, I fell. Oh. Leaving the gas station, holding holding a fucking case of like White Claws. I was walking out and hit an oil. I was the fat guy on the turd, dude. I was just fully <laughs> foot straight out. Just, oh. People were like, oh my God. <laughs> no one was laughing. They were seriously, they were like, are you all right? Yeah. That was an insane fall. Falling is one of the more I felt like a, like a 
a uh, fucking drag queen. Like my foot went yeah. under me. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and thank God none of my friends saw because it must have yeah. been the funniest thing of all time. Were the claws all shaken up when you got back? They were shaken up. How claws, were the claws? But I wasn't even considering them. I was bloody. My leg was you got bloody. That I fucked got up? fucked up. Oh my, no! My front big toe got like purple under the fucking Whoa. toenail. I wasn't. I wasn't happy. And then we. This was a hot day. It was day me, of, Phil. Of it was in Tallahassee in the first game of the season. It was oh. fucking 100 degrees. And then uh, some Florida State frat boys started making fun of us. That was when I was I was I put on a dumb like straw hat, mm -hmm. like a cowboy hat. Yeah. And I immediately got fucking fun ridiculed. And then someone said I looked like a Biden voter. Oh. And I was like, whoa, that kid just wobbled me from a balcony. <sighs> He's a hot, you frat, blinking. hot frat Florida State boy up on a balcony. It was like, you, you fucking nice pale skin. That was when O'Connor fired back. He was like, you're white too. I was like, shut up. <laughs> Just take it, Chris. Don't try to fight back. It That's makes us so look weaker. Funny. <laughs> you're whiter than we are. Yeah, he's like, you're white too. It's like, Chris, don't try to kill them with logic. <laughs> that is kind of sick. That's a sick comeback. He said, you guys look like Biden voters was, was a knockout. What do you even say to that? Nothing. I threw my hat out in the trash can <laughs> in front of them. I said, you guys were right about the hat. That's devastating. Yeah. When was this? Uh, week one, two years ago, college oh, football. My God, right dude. after. Oh, it was the Florida beach trip. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys went to the game we to, to the cap game. it off. That makes sense. Yeah. Phil Gillis was there. God damn. What did he say when he saw when he saw his boy just get fucking... Uh, he didn't hear it. We were walking ahead. Thank God. Thank God. If that was in front thank of my father. God. Yeah, he wouldn't have taken that. Uh, we would have all had it. He would have laughed very hard if he saw me getting called gay by a bunch of frat kids. <laughs> <laughs> like, Those guys are right. You need to get out in the sun. <laughs> the hell. <laughs> He's such a cocksucker. I told him I was like, we're going to Ohio State Notre Dame this year. Yeah. He was like, I called him on Father's Day. I was like, mm -hmm. you know, what's up, Dad? How are you? Happy Father's Day. He was like, I'm not going to that Ohio State game. I was like, all right. Why? Happy Father's Day. I don't know. He just said he doesn't want it. And I was like, yeah, you are. He's like, okay. He just doesn't like doing things. Makes sense. He's geezed up. He doesn't like leaving Mechanicsburg. Yeah. It's got to be nice, though. Just be like, nope. I watch, not. It, I watch it on the TV. It's better than going in there with those 80,000 knuckleheads. <laughs> but he's in there drinking, <laughs> screaming. I had a nice Father's Day. I went in the pool at my parents' house and just battled my two nephews. Mm. They, were, they thought it was cool to splash. So, That's right, not acceptable. Splash. They hit Maya. Maya got all. I said, dudes, knock off the splash. And they hit me again. I said, all right, it's girls versus boys now. <laughs> I had Chloe here and Maya in the tube. Maya had like a little life jest on. I was hitting. The, you know when you go like this with the water? Oh, yeah. You yeah, pour yeah, the waves. Send yeah. fucking you yeah. waves. Ninja star. You, no, like you just fucking skim God. it. It sends like just oh, bullets no. right oh, into their I've eyes. Oh, dude, I killed these two kids. I've always I was done hand like, out. Yeah, I like that one, but and I never. That's volume. Like a god. That's volume. Yeah. This, this is a fucking this dagger. Is a yeah, that's good. I never even thought about. Yes, doing right that. to your eyes, dude. I was fucking. <laughs> so I, then I hit him with. I was like, "Oh, girls are beating the boys. Boys are dude. They were just in ruins. How old were these boys? <laughs> like four or five. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the age where they probably genuinely were like uh, devastated. It was brutal. Yeah, girls can't beat boys. They were and not they, when you're they five. Were like, I'm like, I'm girls team, dude. You guys started this war. I had a raft and I had Maya on the raft oh, and I was going as fast yeah. as I could and just ramming their rafts and they're like getting completely fucking them up. I was kicking their ass. That's awesome. But I was throwing them. They like getting thrown, so I'll pick them up and throw them. So they had that was going pretty well. Throwing kids is great. It gets very tiring. Yeah, they're and they keep little saying, enough. Keep going. And yeah, you're like all right. Yeah, they're little enough where it's not <laughs> brutal yet. When they hit like seven and eight, it's like, dude, get away from. Yeah, me. get the fuck out. That's how it is with Anthony and Aaliyah. Anthony's always. I'll throw Anthony. He's a little guy, and then Aaliyah's big ass comes over. <laughs> She's like 6'5 already. Yeah, do me. Yeah. Have you ever seen that Joe list bit about how he's like he's like you can't you can't hit kids. He's like one thing I learned that you can do is you can take them and throw them as hard as you <laughs> yeah, want into yeah, a pool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sass, what's going on with you? Yeah, dude. Tell us about your life. We didn't get into it. Tell the Patreon much. family, dude. Yeah. You're at the family party now. I know. Now it's just the Patreon family. Yeah. Are you seeing anyone? I'm uh I'm just hanging out, man. What? Wow, wow. Exactly. Yeah. The, the arts, hard dude. work of the art. The agony of the it's a arts. Tough job. Yeah, it is weird when you think about the just the connective dots that got you into doing this. It was like could have been doing anything. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I think I'll pop down to that open mic down I'll there. I'll see what it's like. Fully just mutated. Just <laughs> How was your first open what was your first open mic? It was the Harrisburg Comedy Zone. 
How'd it go? It was, uh, it was t- fucking horrendous. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get fucked up before? No. Really? No, I did not. But I, it was, yeah. It was so much adrenaline from doing it. I, yeah. like, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! I, I have to I have to find this and give it to you. I'll, I'll show this to you. Brittany took a picture of me last night. I was by the bed. Ba- I'm always naked at nighttime, so she was like, "Go, yeah. go see if you can make my go." So she's been waking up every night at like, dude, twelve o'clock, eleven thirty. Just so that we have like a baby monitor. She took a picture of me through the baby monitor. <laughs> I was naked, and just sitting in there because I like put her in the crib and I just sit in the chair. So like I'm next so to her through the baby monitor. So dude. was it like night vision? <laughs> it's probably like actually a scary photo. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, you're Lena Dunkles. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why are you dun- <laughs> Dunkles? Because I was naked. I thank God I was holding my bird, dude. And she just snaps a picture of me Grinch bellied out. <laughs> I have a like Grinch body to the max, dude. <laughs> this, your body doesn't make sense, dude. I've. <laughs> I've seen, I've seen you. Sure, I've seen I'm you, dude. You, it's, a, it's a bad angle. Dude. It's the craziest night angle. Vision, night vision adds like thirty pounds. Dude. Night vision <laughs> adds giant tits. <laughs> Show the fucking dude. You gotta see that. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, it's not my true body, dude. It's not my no, true body. No, don't show the camera. <laughs> Why would you show them? <laughs> like, we were already kind of in a So you're tent. just sitting in a rocking chair in your kid's room like that? Yeah. You're I'm terrifying. Tra- Why? That's terrifying. I'm trying to get her to go to bed. You look like the witch from <laughs> The Vitch, dude. You look like The Vitch. <laughs> I do. I do. Like exactly like The Vitch. I look exactly like The Vitch. And someone was probably like, Matt, you're like, okay. what? Well, I mean, dude, night vision turns you into a creature, dude. Night vision's actually. I've been a working creature. hard on my body, dude. And I saw that. I was like, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> Especially, dude, if you had a penis in that, that'd be oh. the worst photo of all time. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, you had let's a, be real. a penis. Sticking. I did have a penis in that. I was yeah. covering it. Let's be real. Yeah. I've, even I've even had a penis. naked in the dark, I'll cover a penis. You have to by myself in a room. I'd still be like. No, no one sees this somehow. Hopefully, there's not a night vision camera I forgot about. No, I can. I'll. Uh, that that would be a good one to release. Honestly, that's important for the people to see that picture. If there's any girls out there, they'd be like, "Ew!" <laughs> Ew. Suddenly, I'm the heartthrob of the group. <laughs> Ew. You know, it shakes out that bad. <laughs> you ever see Matt naked? <laughs> Your parents. What? What about him? God bless him, dude. What? Just what? a house of just two retarded boys. Two? Yeah, it's more true. like fucking four. True. What the fuck? And just coming down be like, Dad, I spilled the cup of Hermes. <laughs> <laughs> and then a brother across the room like, you can't spill the cup of Hermes. <laughs> just like, what the fuck? That's brother stuff, dude. You just sorry, got, you're jealous. I'm a lone wolf, dude. I'm sorry, dude. I never got influenced by I'm other men. I'm a little more of a I lone can, wolf. I can't even imagine being influenced by other men I'm growing sorry, up. Jealous. True. I was just, I just became my own man. Yeah, guided by your older sisters, dude. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> yeah, boys. I want to wish it on my worst enemy. What's that? Holy sisters. You got to have the bros, dude. No, I just had to I had to make my own bros. You were playing football like your life depended on it. I was, the yeah, bro of course. Depend, the bro ship depended Absolutely. on it. Absolutely. If I would have quit, I'd have no bros. True. You were the captain of the SS bro. That's why I became captain of the team. Nice. That's when you're a team captain. <laughs> now... Now, something like that, I'll be honest, something like that drives me up a fucking wall. <laughs> You're going to go. This close to my hand. This close. <laughs> now. Right on me. Look. <laughs> if you guys don't want to do this, we can not do this. I don't care. <laughs> I got better. I have, I have so much going on. You attacked my family. Fuck you guys' family, dude. <laughs> oh, we just touched feet. The um, get that's you're way out of line. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what are your feet doing over here? I was just kicked back and comfortable. You just make me feel comfortable, God dude. Damn. He's, Whoa, God damn, dude. <laughs> dude. Is that glow in the dark? No, don't worry about it, bro. Oh, don't worry about what I'm what? up to over here, bro. <laughs> <Yo. sighs> Where'd you get that? Don't worry about it. glow in the dark, <laughs> dude. You gotta charge that up in the sun. <laughs> I uh, no, that thing's I got hammered. I got hammered, and I was watching Three Six Mafia videos, <laughs> and I forgot I ordered this. And then uh, I got a mail a package. 
Dude. And I opened it, and I was like, oh, my God. You have, you have to start doing a drunk QVC show, dude, where you just get <laughs> dude, hammered and browse just, the internet. And buy just, <laughs> I, I literally checked my Amazon search after it, and it was Juicy J t-shirt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is, you may recognize, recognize this from the Stay Fly music video. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> yes. I, it is kind of weird, man. The fact that, like, you know, if they're right now saying, like, you shouldn't clap because it could set off someone who's autistic in, like, a public gathering. It's like, oh, but if you want to, like, put them on camera and film them Bro. awkwardly trying to date. For the lady there's from Gilligan's one, Island. There's one that's a girl, and then she went and sat outside with this dude, and they just they were like, oh, they, this one autistic girl was dancing, and then another dude came up and started dancing with her, and they were like, and they talk about it. It's like a fucking nature show. They're like, oh, she may have found a mate out there. <laughs> and then they put him outside and made him talk, and the kid couldn't talk. Yeah. Because there's a camera in his face. He's on a date, and he didn't know he was doing it, I don't think. Well, I'm sure he did, but... Yeah. He didn't, you know, his autism kicked in hard and he couldn't, she was like, I'll, I'll lead it. Do you like cats or dogs? And he's like, oh, I saw that. When she was at- like, I have a cat. He's like, do you have a cat? And he's like, yes. Yeah. I do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, holy shit. Dude. Yeah, it was very uncomfortable. For and then that, it's dude. like, that guy, I don't know if he got paid. And now his family just has to be like, holy fuck, dude. He was, we'd send him to the dance. He ended up on Netflix. Yeah, like having like a slight nervous breakdown. Yeah, being on TV, just like. I have a cat named Gertrude. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, holy fuck. Yeah, it man. was that was probably one of the most uncomfortable parts so far. It was he like he mean. freaks out. He just goes like, "Oh yeah." Oh, then, yeah. <laughs> that was the best part. She's like, "Should we go inside then?" He's like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> I mean, apparently it increases the risk of spontaneous human combustion. <laughs> Nobody wants to talk about that. No, when you when you're in ketosis, your body produces ketones, which is like another form of acetone. And the one theory on spontaneous human combustion is that people are in ketosis. Yes. And their body- <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Well, it's Don't all those like it hot up. dude churches. Hot dude churches rule. They're so weird. They kind of rule. See, there's like Justin Bieber goes them and shit. Yeah, dude. You wear like leather. Hot dudes. You wear like leather bracelets and like a V-neck. No! <laughs> <laughs> All right, the noise was a joke. <laughs> Run the tapes back. The noise was a joke. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Delete that. <laughs> this is why we don't do live, dude. Just scrub that. <laughs> Yeah, sick move. <laughs> and I divert it to anybody out there that wants to try to heckle me. Dude. You're getting hit with that, dude. Sending a, a fireball, someone who's heckling you is the best. Yeah, like, get to the jokes. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice if you spotted a guy kind of leaning on his chair and hit him. With that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> dude, I might I, set up a plant and start sh- putting YouTube videos out about hadouking. <laughs> I wonder how much it would cost to. Maybe rig up some type of pulley system. So if you did hit someone with a Hadouken, they flew to the back of the room. You know, or elevate, levitated, and you force hold them. That's what I thought. Shut the fuck up, dude. That'd be so sick. (laughs) You should go to helium or wherever else and and come down like from like nine feet from the ceiling on a cable. (laughs) Because you can rig yourself up. Like if they start getting you mad, you start levitating. (laughs) If you if you were all black and they put you up in the ceiling and after the feature like the hose comes back out, you slowly descend from seven feet. (laughs) You've been there the whole time. You've been up. You could do this, dude. <laughs> How dedicated well, are you? Be, I'd be so happy. What? <laughs> would be so funny if they noticed me during the <laughs> during the feature set, just on the roof, like a bat, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to trick out the lighting so you can't be <laughs> descend slowly. <laughs> a true, a true vampiric entrance. <laughs> so Janice and I, since we met in December, she was a working girl, and I was. Where'd she work? A man, a man of. Huh? Where did Where'd she work? Pet like Boys? Home Depot. On the streets. Lowe's. A working girl. A working oh, she was girl. like Not a street performer, like a mime, like a mime, like a silver robot. No, like a, like a, tell me what word to use, baby. They're stupid. I'm not sure what they're talking about. Like a hard working girl? 
A prostitute. Okay. Oh, okay. So now. Oh, gotcha. I heard about those. I'm sorry, baby. Don't don't ever reschedule these dudes. All right. I'm just saying. We talking about dude. This has been a killer interview. We talking about dude. I think I think there was one rumor about you where people were dumping on you through hammocks. Yeah. Is that true? A sexual thing? A sexual thing? Yeah, where people were taking shits on you. A sexual thing, right? Yeah, sexual yeah. sexual dumps, not like just like you know, not like sanitation. Gross dumps. What the fuck? This is <laughs> this a is rumor. I just want to ask. Well, no, I'm, I'm saying. I think it's who cool. cares? What I the think fuck it's business awesome. is it if anybody's? If it's True. a sexual thing, good God, do I? Did I ask you about your sexual life? Yes, I mean, almost immediately. Have you I'll ever? You. Have you ever? Literally licked, immediately. Have you ever licked an asshole? Yes. I mean, yes. have you sodomized another human being? Yeah. And how do you feel about that? You I'm know, pretty excited then, about it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it is a difficult realm. I see why dudes having, completely yeah, freak out. Having one person tell me to do one thing. I'm like, <laughs> dude, I hate them. <laughs> I wish they weren't in here. <laughs> yeah. Leave me alone. Dude, it's crazy. Oh, I had to get woken up at 8 a.m. Who woke you? Phil Pound. Dude, he <sighs> pounds on the door like oh, he's serving a fucking warrant. <laughs> It's fucking crazy, <laughs> dude. It nothing bothers me more. <laughs> doosh, doosh, doosh. Get up. That's how he fucking does it. That's the best. It's so fucking annoying, dude. Yeah. No. I mean, I'm furious. And then my mom's yelling. Jane. <laughs> From she's like a cat, dude. She'll stand outside your door. Jane. Jane. God, come on, let's go. Oh my god. Gotta get moving. Oh my god. Shut up. You're having like grade school flashbacks. Dude, I was having I had a wild night. She really sits outside your door Shane. and just goes, Shane. Come on. It just rubs the wall. Let's get moving. Oh my let's god. get moving. So, oh, dude. oh dude, I'd rather see a swastika on my wall. Yeah. Wake up like what the hell is that? Yeah. Sleep. My phone died. I forgot to pack a charger when I went down for the NFC championship oh. ball game got breakfast by myself so i sat there by myself without a phone i don't know if you've ever done that oh wow. and then a guy caught me listening to their conversation there was a table ah. like two or three booths down and it was like a business like the people that work together getting lunch and he was like yeah this place you saw they like have carpet all on the ceilings and i was like <laughs> he, he saw me like look up <laughs> <laughs> I'm a freak, dude. <laughs> just sitting here without a phone, just waiting for a turkey sandwich. <laughs> but I didn't know we were getting coffee. I thought we were getting uh, lunch. So I got coffee here. Oh. I a cold brew. And then we went to a fucking coffee shop. So what'd you do? I had double coffee, dude. Oh, I was out of my up? mind. I had a meeting with this lady and I didn't shut up. I was like, well, yeah, I mean, I guess that's the direction of comedy right now. And it is tough to sell sketch, you know, so <laughs> it was fucking wild. You, you were one more coffee away from going. <laughs> yeah, I was fully, dude. It was nuts. I was like sweating. I was doing impressions. I did impressions like four different times. Get, get jolted on coffee. coffee and then just check your phone. Just like, I'm oh, sorry, I got time. I uh, just got to answer this. I have spots tonight. <laughs> That's what I do. I do stand up lazy, just not stop. So, <laughs> well, anyway, what's going on with your company? What are you guys working on? You didn't have to get another coffee. Yeah, it was psychotic. And then I ended it. I was just like, <laughs> okay, oh, goodbye. I literally, I was like, oh, my Uber's here in two minutes. What else you got going on today? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the thing, it was going nowhere. I, she was cool. Send a representative. Like, I'm going to send a representative and then sit like two tables yeah. over and just wait. Over here and then towards the end go. I couldn't help but over here. <laughs> I'm actually the real Shane Gillis. I'm the one you were supposed to have this. devil's double. I'm the one you were supposed to have this meeting with today. <laughs> I'm actually over here. I've been here. This text are halfway 40 through. 40 chest like, constantly. <laughs> yeah, I'll say, look over to this other table. And I'll go. <laughs> And then run. <laughs> Sprint out of the meeting. <laughs> Leave a fake check to pay for your coffee and run. <laughs> running. Running is very funny. Dude, running run. publicly is so dude, funny. It's the best. It's a high speed lifestyle, dude. Running out of a running out of a restaurant is fucking so funny. <laughs> dude, I mean, what is the speed limit for people? Cop cut. Yeah, yeah. Remember when I got pulled over? I got pulled over by cops leaving our billies. And they thought I was undercover. Oh, yeah. yeah. The cops did? The cops thought I was an undercover cop. So they were like, pull over. We got to chat. I, I look like a cop that much. 
They pulled me over and I was like, what the fuck did I do wrong? You, you were they probably dressed up. like a kid who went to high school to buy drugs. Yeah, out. <laughs> for real. <laughs> they pulled me over and the guy goes, 369. And I was like, damn thing's fine. I thought he was, I swear to God. I thought he I thought he said a yin yang twin lyric. He goes, 369. Damn thing's fine. And they were like, no. We thought you were an undercover. <laughs> <laughs> You're like these cops are doing riddles. Yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm going just to go in the fucking the back, get a lap dance, maybe maybe or two, then get the fuck out of there. Yeah, but I've seen. Yeah, I've also. I don't know if you can imagine this, Matt, but uh, Lewis is handsy. He's definitely. Uh, a, he's definitely a, he's uh, a butt pincher. Yeah, handsy. he is. We, you're 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 aggressive. It's like That's like saying up. somebody at a carnival, like, oh, he rides the rides. No, okay. no, no. It's like uh, saying a guy at a strip club is groping strippers. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, dude. You, know, you ask him. Well, that's not his fault. That's, just, that's the half point. No, dude, groping the, the if you want to use the carnival thing, that's like that's the equivalent of standing on the gravitron. <laughs> that's what you do. And everyone else is like, "Why is he doing that?" And you're like, "This is awesome." <laughs> Watch this. Oh, fuck. Yeah, everybody wishes they were this cool. <laughs> it's like, no, dude, it's fucking weird. <laughs> you go standing on the gravitron. It's some of the funniest pictures on earth. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. The perfect analogy for getting hands <laughs> on the trip club. Oh, man. Like, what are you dude. doing? You're not supposed to do that. Hold it's on. dangerous dude, and inappropriate. I, 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 a part of me is a part of me respects it. <laughs> me, I'm like, kind of, but cool, you're a douche for doing it. Hit me with a standing fucking gravity drop. So fucking funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Notice everybody's away from him. Please go, please go for it. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh my God. Yo, turn it down. Turn the fucking audio down. Dude. It's not me. It's the video. My audio is on the video. You can click on the video's audio. I did. I did. It's down. That's. It's down three quarters of the way. Right. My bad. Oh fuck that picture, dude. Click this picture. Fucking man. Look at the guy next to him. Look at the guy next to him. Like, what the fuck? Audio listeners, if you don't know, on the ride. The gravitron just spins like really fast, and essentially you stick to a wall with like a, um, you know, it, it, and there's it's oh, no, only keep going, Lewis. Keep trying to explain this. Fuck. What's up, bro? What's happening? What's going on here, Matt? Chilling, dude. Just fucking, you know. What's all this mumbo jumbo you've gotten yourself into, dude? <laughs> you talking about my sebzy, bro? What is this? It's my sebzy. It's Morocco. It's a ceremonial hash pipe from Morocco. It's not a big deal, dude. I've we've obviously dude, you seem to be making a big deal out of it. I'm not making. A, I'm just setting it out, dude. Ceremoniously, it's just it's a nice piece, dude. I always want to show it off, you know. Well, I'll tell you something, man. I don't like it. Some of us prize fast cars, dude. It's just this is my stuff. This is what I ball out. What on. is this? The fucking high spirits, dude. Key of G minor, 432 hertz. Seat on the insignia, rainbow moonstone with the exact ripple that 432 makes on water or sand. <laughs> I'm fly as hell, dude. You hate it. What is yeah. what is <laughs> the top there? This is this piece is called the fetish. This is what gives it its voice. So if you were to slide this thing back, it would throw off the whole sound. It has to be pr- it has to be placed in the proper place. Mm. Billy was talking some mess about my flute. On I heard Patreon. you got yours off Amazon. Not Amazon. It's from High Spirits. It's a reputable I heard dealer. It was a colonial. Dude, here's the thing. I heard it was a colonist flute. That look, <laughs> I try not to look. I don't I try to engage in wrong speech where I harm other people in their businesses. So oh, yeah, you don't want to put down the man's business. Oh, his business. No, his, his, you don't want to put down a colonizer's business. He's thriving. <laughs> yeah. They got they. The whole thing started because well, did they, they run off the real Native Americans that made those? No, not at all, dude. They're probably working tandem with Native artists. But Billy and I was, I was teasing him because I, yeah. I went. We all went to this place in Florida, and like, dude, I want to crush this lady. She has like a little trading post. It's, it's cool. She's a nice lady. I picked up a flute there. Mine was in the mail, so I'm like, oh, let me hear his voice. I wasn't really digging the sound, and that's all I said. Spud got one, and I was kind of like, yeah. He picked man. up a bad flute. It's a decorative piece. It's a beautiful piece, but it's more of a decorative piece. This That's is, what I was trying to is, tell him. This needs to stop. What? That's all I was this is whatever this it's, character it's, it's, is. <laughs> this is one of my least favorite characters. This is one of my least favorite characters.
I did. I want to do a cover. This lady has a. <laughs> dude, what you, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> what are you doing to what? <laughs> you know you're doing this to me. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> why are you doing this to me, man? I was just saying how good things were. <laughs> Things are things are good. <laughs> I'm saying they're trying to say that's a colonizer flute. That's also that's a cover, by the way, by um, I believe. By <laughs> that is a. I don't want to steal credit for that tune. That, that was a cover. That's a borrowed tune. Yeah, that's a uh, Dancing Moon by Purnell. Purnell's a beautiful artist, dude. <laughs> How are you talking about I'm doing this to you And I'm glad You're doing Things this on purpose Things have been great Things have been great What are you talking about dude You're doing this on purpose What cop the to sabotage our lives How <laughs> Dude I'm Getting into bullshit <laughs> What are you talking about <laughs> Dude it's a beautiful instrument man It is It's a. It is. It's, it's an inlet This is a pentatonic minor scale so Can every, I hold it Yeah dude please Let me Here Get the spit out Get the spit out of that Dude hold wow. that thing Wow Feel the power You're right that thing's beautiful, man. It's it's lighter than you'd think. Oh yeah, for sure. Man, that thing's is nice, a man. Beautiful piece here, the leather. It's a, dude, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> I I've been genuinely worried about someone smashing this thing. Really? Between you and Brittany, I have two strong contenders for flute breakers. <laughs> Who's gonna break it? <laughs> I have, Brittany's gonna break it. She kind of likes it. I've, I've I've actually turned her around. She's, she's dude. Trying to trick herself into saying she loves uh, She it. was in the bathtub and I was playing downstairs. She's like, dude, I was about to fall asleep. It's, it's, you can't, it's 432 hertz, dude. Now that I can carry a tune on it, if you're in the, if you're taking a bath and you hear that drone in below you, the floor below, you're just kind of like, oh man. I go on my roof deck at nighttime and just put a blanket and just fucking wail so hard on it. And dude, it's, this like, can't be, you cannot be doing this. Yeah. So like, no one can see where it's <laughs> coming. No one can see where it's coming from. So people are just probably walking their dog and they're like, let me hear it again. Dude, so you're walking your dog down the street and you hear this in the distance. <laughs> Just you like, like the I, end. Oh, you gotta, you gotta figure it out how to do the end. <laughs> Dude, I might start getting up first thing in the morning, hitting people with one of these. Sorry, that's not good. Sorry, guys. I have too much spit in this moisture barrier. There we go. <laughs> Early in the morning. But, dude, it's nothing personal. This is just a, this is a hobby I'm into, dude. It's nice. I'm not going to have it every single time. I wanted to show it to you. Where does it come from? What what tribes? What are we talking here? I don't know. Honestly, I haven't done my due diligence. Dude, I'm more of a musician. You know what I mean? I just I'm I'm a music guy. So it's oh, like Oh no, dude. What? Now you're dark chocolate also. <laughs> dude, I'm more of a musician. What are you doing today? What are you talking about, dude? I'm here on Sunday. This is out of control. Now what's going on with that you, pipe? You got I me out like here on a Sunday. You smoke that pipe. Patreon, I'll save that. That's you gonna save drugs for the Patreon? Yeah, I'll I'll probably have to, you know, but I I'll need total silence, so if you guys would respect this Why? Place. Well, it's a ceremonial pipe, dude. I can't smoke it amongst chatter. I mean, I'll go outside if I have to. Jefferson <laughs> Adams. Jefferson was Adams as vice president. Yeah. So that's three straight or two straight vice presidents. Then we got James Madison. He was a dork. Yes. He was a huge dork. He was a, the, a nerd. He was a frail, didn't... nervous. Think Gerbys. What? He was yeah. Gerbys. Really? He. But this is sick. So basically, he had the first. They said. His lady was the first first lady, Dolly Madison. That was like really like they would have parties at the White House. They would like try to get. And also, he was Jefferson's mentor. He was another guy like Adams who was there all the time. Yeah, he was like a worker. He kept shit going, mm -hmm. and it, it, he would write Jefferson and say in 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 France and go, "Can you fucking come?" home and be yeah. president <laughs> and Jefferson would write back and go, "I am just enjoying Paris yeah. and I don't want to do it." <laughs> That's and then he would float in and just take the fucking big job. And yeah, Madison gets four years and people are like, dude, you're boring. <laughs> no, America Madi has no, never Madison, liked Madison nerds. gets two. 
Don't because. touch me. Don't touch me. Don't ever put your fucking hands on me. I can't touch me. your Don't shoes ever put your out of respect. Fucking hands on me. I'm gonna grip you up. God damn it. Hold on. <laughs> so Jefferson Jefferson was <laughs> shut the fuck up, guys. <laughs> shut up, guys. <laughs> Sean, get out. <laughs> Sean, don't look at me. So Madison takes some of the flack because everybody was calling Jefferson a pussy for not fighting England. So he's like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. What? So America just declares war on England. He nerd raged. He nerd raged on England. <laughs> no. England immediately marches down and burns Washington, <laughs> D.C. <Burns> it down. <laughs> yeah. They burnt the White House immediately. Yep. He spaz but, cried. But every, yeah, he spaz cries. He's like, nobody's going to call me gay. <laughs> but then I, everybody always acts like we lost 1812 just because they burned that shitty White House. Yeah. So First what? off, Washington, D.C. was a swamp. It was literally a swamp. It was a shithole. No one lived there. Uh, War of 1812, we fucked England up. Fort McHenry, the Star Spangled Banner, all that shit. Battle of oh. New Orleans, we smashed them. Battle dude. of New Orleans was, uh, what's his name? Jackson. Fucking Jackson. Yeah. And Jackson, they were fighting the Battle of New Orleans. The war had been already over for a while. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, the yeah. war was already settled. Oh, yeah, they fought the it treaty in was, was signed. It was in January of And uh, he was still fighting. Yeah. Well, what? you get to Jackson, he's fucking he's incredible. He's wild. Incredible. Right. So, first Trump. He was the first Trump. Yep. First, so all of a sudden, America, that's our first war as a country. Yeah. So now America is well, not before just Because that, England was just taking pot shots. England would just park a ship uh, outside of like, a, you know, a, a Baltimore or whatever. They're and so just start good. heaving fucking fireballs <laughs> <laughs> for no reason. Like, you know, where, do you know Hudson, New York? It's a town yeah. in, uh, in the Hudson. It has a weird maritime feeling to it. It looks like Nantucket. And that's because it's all people from Nantucket. It used to be this little whaling village in Nantucket. And in the 1810s, the British would just park a ship and just set houses on fire <laughs> for fucking fun. What? So all the people that lived in that town found a they founded Hudson and they would go out and whale in the ocean. And then they would drag a whale up the Hudson River. Holy shit. And they would slaughter it and then send it down the river. It was a great way to send whale meat and oil down to here new, new york, york city yeah. and that established a hub in new york's uh an upper new york state hudson became a very big important and oh. that's where you ever heard of a guy named legs diamond because diamond yeah. diamond street was like the first whore street <laughs> it sounded like hudson became a place for farmers mm -hmm. to bring their herds and get laid and get you know just fuck and Whoa. gamble Damn. and and have their animals slaughtered and brought down here on boats and then they so go they home got paid damn yeah. yeah anyway so, so we'll that's skip. what was going on that's how much things like just the english uh, one english ship lobbing fireballs changes a ton oh, of things yeah. Yeah, some and they finally needed sucks. it to stop yeah. <laughs> resulting yeah. in some guy getting ahead like, <laughs> yeah. i'm never gonna be able to face me wife <laughs> me wife so okay so yeah so now you got now we're kind of so unified that was the first time madison the madison war of 1812 it was a draw. I mean, they signed a treaty after two years. Nothing changed, though. Just nothing the, changed. The English stopped harassing us. Yeah, though. I but do we declared war. They came over. Yeah. We kind of fucked them up, though. I looked at the casualty numbers. It was like double. That doesn't really? matter in the historical story. Of course, wars, of course. But I always, everybody die. always acts like... Because they got over here and they all died of disease kind of immediately. Like, yeah. They got fucked up. It was hard to... And they were like, this, we, we can't afford to fight this while we're fighting the French. Truce. Uh, that brings us to Monroe. Monroe was kind of the man. Monroe was the last founding father to be a president, fought in the Revolutionary War, was at Valley Forge. He came up with the Monroe Doctrine, which is neutrality. Mm -hmm. We got the Americas. Nobody fuck with us. Because they were all worried Europe was going to Spain or Europe was going to come back and take Well, South that was America. all the source of all our problems was these other fucking European countries yeah. being involved in their wars. So he was the first guy to go. Yeah, we're never going to go get want. involved in their wars. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's, that's kind of what they were saying was that's like the most lasting policies of any of the founding fathers was like american neutrality europe you can have your wars we're staying the fuck yeah. out obviously it lasted a hundred years okay. um added florida monroe got florida from the spanish nice so the reason that happened though was because of jackson because jackson was taking his troops to florida and monroe was sending a guy on a you know, horse or what i don't know if they had telegrams <laughs> yeah. yet but it was take him eight days to say leave florida alone we're trying to negotiate yeah, uh, um, a price, but finally Monroe decided we don't want Florida anymore. They're asking this. The Span Spanish owned it, 
they, we can't afford to buy it. I can't justify it. I'm not going to get it through Congress. And Jackson was writing back and saying, I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to take it militarily. I'm going to attack them. And Monroe said, no, you may not. I'm the president. You may not do that. And Jackson just ignored him. Yeah, started attacking and him. he did it. What? He took Florida. And then he showed up in D.C. and was like, right, that was good, right? And Monroe's like, yes, thank you very much. Yeah, he's like, but also I bought it. Good job. Yeah, also I think he we paid, paid for it. We paid for it, and it was a while, mess. While Jackson what? was while Jackson was like fucking with them, the Spanish were like, to Monroe, they were like, yeah, you can buy it. And he went and killed him. <laughs> <laughs> he was down fighting them, and he was like, yeah, actually, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna but sell it. There's two generals that did that. Him and MacArthur did that too. Just did shit without permission. Yeah, and then showed up and said, "Right, Mr. President, wasn't that the plan that was all along?" Good. And he was like, "Yes, it was the plan all along. Whatever you want, whatever Whoa. you want." So you got that. But this is interesting because Monroe was the first part that uh, this is where the slavery issue starts to take mm -hmm. real issue because it was the Missouri Compromise. So Missouri was becoming a state; it was another slave state, pro-slavery. <laughs> <laughs> On yeah. your right, dude. The people who do that on bikes make me. That makes me angry too. I get very mad. On your right, it's like just fucking ride. Get by a me, car, dude. dickhead. Yeah, fine, fine. Get a car, or walk. <laughs> yeah, that drives me nuts. Especially when people on bikes try to do like rules of the road. But it's like, dude, I'm in a car. Just fucking get out of the way. Listen to me. Just try not to get hit by my superior fucking. Yeah, I'm in a car. Machine. You need to listen to what I say. Yeah, dude. Imagine if a dude in like a wheelbarrow behind you was like, hey, man, come on. It's like, get the <laughs> yeah. fuck out of the way. Buzz off. I hate yeah. that shit. I, I do like the dudes that wear. Uh, I might start doing. I kind of like, I don't know. I'd be getting jealous of this. Do you, do you have this in New York where guys wear full spandex suits and like go grocery shopping? That's like the most. I think they're like the with their shoes with yeah. those like cleats, cleats, helmet. And then they yeah. go like in like a spandex Tour de France outfit and go grocery shopping. And I'm always like, by the way. Yeah, they have gay penises. It's crazy they gay penises. Giant dude. gay penises. If you're crazy. in a spandex suit biking, yeah, and then you walk around you the grocery store penis. with your big gay penis, yeah. it's like, dude, get that thing. My out son of has a gay big <laughs> penis. You motherfucker, son, look at his gay penis. Look at it for as long as you can. <laughs> yes. I demand, I can implore you. Stare at it. You're a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's bad. If we're allowed to do that, are we allowed to make fun of? Are we allowed to make fun of those parents? Stare at it. Those You're particular parents, not the real ones. We're talking about the parents that force their kids. Yeah, for which sure. there are those. There are. Imagine like if there was like a uh, psycho sports dad who did that same energy on their kid. Yeah, they? it does. It happens all the time. Dude. It shatters the kid. Yeah. You go. You're gonna fucking play in the yeah. NFL. Start lifting. Imagine if for like, like five. my my son's jacked. Imagine my son's playing for the Ravens. You motherfucker. Imagine. My son's. <laughs> What the hell is watching him type to strangers online? Be like, you got to get it back in there, dude. Yeah. Thank God. Phil Phil was close. He could have been that. Psycho sports parent. He, he Occasionally, he would show up and watch practice. That's tipping. <laughs> he was bordering. But during the games, he never he would never yell once. He just, See, he was just he was stood just, at the top of the bleachers. He was just invested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, one time I got done. My sophomore, <laughs> sophomore year. No, this is crazy. I get done. I came down to the basement. Where Phil was... Down there, and he he like muted the television when I sat down on the couch, and he was like, "How do you think you played tonight?" <laughs> I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck?" He was like, "If you had to grade yourself, what would you give it?" Oh. I was like, "The fucking B." He's like, "I say D," but <laughs> I was like, "Holy shit, Phil!" That was the only time he ever did it. He was mad at how I played. Yeah, that's the worst. That must feel bad. He's a sophomore. Give me a chance. Come on, dude. man. Yeah. Up against black defensive ends. You're, you're just I was getting, getting your... rocked. <laughs> <laughs> I used to get picked up. I, my parents did truly didn't give a fuck at all. But my friend's dad was like, he'd pick us up from summer games and like in summer leagues and fucking yell at us the whole way home. And I'd just be like, man, what the fuck? Yeah. I would just sit in the back and kind of laugh. I'm like, it's not my yeah, dad. Yeah, it's or funny. I, I would laugh like... during basketball. I never took that seriously. And I'd yeah. Laugh. Yeah. I got in trouble several times. Yeah. Coaches would just, you think this is funny? <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, yeah. I wish I had the you know what I know now. I'd be like, yes, dude. Oh my god, you're 48. You're yelling at seventh graders about fucking. The score was 12 to seven. Yeah, true. You loser. That is you drunk of, fucking loser. God damn it, dude. That is like the darkest shit in the world. As a, a dude, bah. spazzing. 
Being a drunk fucking Pee Wee football coach. And spazzing. We had dudes spazzing. that would like lay down, like almost cry. My like Yeah. You like love hit football. Me in practice, he'd be in full pads. <laughs> Freak. Come on. Dude, we had a guy who used to wear shorts like nineteen seventies, like sh- like tight, tight shorts awesome. to the top little polo and he would fucking freak out and his son he made his son the quarterback and his son yeah, yeah. so they bad. always make their kids their it's fucking crazy. son the quarterback it's crazy my son's a quarterback it, dude and it, the son, it was the son was not a quarterback but you know again I'm not not, i don't want to go back in way back in time and vault and trash this dude's son as qb but he clearly wasn't qb material he's not qb material. i wasn't qb material. You, were, you you were not qb one material i knew i wasn't QB you do one. have leadership skills though I could. I don't give myself. You're a bit that. of a leader. I could see that. I give myself that, but that's yeah. more. I. I might. I'd like to lead from the other side of the ball. I'm talking middle You're linebacker. Defense. You're a middle linebacker. I'm talking about middle linebacker. Oh. I could see you with the cowboy collar, especially how jacked you've gotten lately. <laughs> you might look good in pads cowboy right now. Cowboy. Get a cowboy collar. I'm more of a safety right. Now. I'm more of a safety. <laughs> before the snap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd be good. I you'd be a throwback, cow- dude. No gloves, no wristbands. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wanted the cowboy collar so bad. Cowboy collar is so I sick. I got so it. Bad. I got it in seventh grade. Oh, it was so fucking God nice. God damn it, dude. Obviously, I missed weight eighth grade year. <laughs> Still- <laughs> oh, keeps me up at night. <laughs> I missed out on that season. We could have made it, dude. They lost oh. the Super Bowl without me. I was just watching. Just oh no. I got to get big for freshman football guys. Sorry. I can't cut weight now. <laughs> can't be down to 142. I did the same thing. <laughs> yeah. I fucking. They're like, we need you big for next year, dude. Don't try to. Don't do it. How sick did that feel, though, that summer? I used to chug gallons of milk going into freshman football. And I yeah. was like, dude, this is so important. Yeah, I thought did. I was going to the NFL. You have to understand. I really thought I was That's going good. to the NFL when I was a kid. Yeah. You I was chugging milk. Your locker. The summer, the summer I was Mad fucking man. going into freshman year. I was waking up. If I would go lift with the team prematurely, <laughs> I lifted as like a fourteen-year-old. <laughs> I was in there with the football team. I asked permission to go lift with them, and I was just chugging milk, yeah. sitting on my ass all summer and lifting <laughs> yeah, with just the team. Chugging milk, <laughs> dude. Be yeah. like, I'm going to be in the NFL. Yeah, and I just got smashed. I was like, Why are the linemen so big? Uh, yeah, it was just fucking dude. They're big. It's not like little. When you're a little kid, whoever the linemen is, just suck. Yeah, they're just everybody's small. Dude. Whoever the offensive line is, are the the least athletic kids. Yeah, yeah. And I was playing, dude. It was, it was. I was like, dude. I was, I was playing line fullback, like Damn. both special teams. I was playing everything. You were a hitter. I, I, I was. Dude, but I always hit. was cautious about putting my head down. I was always. I've always been really? smart about not fucking hitting the head oh, into man. people. I just liked. I like to clash at the scrimmage. But dude, I Noah was a good player. Noah yeah. was offensive guard, weren't you? Yeah, oh. beast. How nice did you feel when you pulled? That was my favorite. Pulling is so nice. Pulling was so Unless fun. you fall like a fat idiot. Yeah, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. You fall because somebody gets knocked back. You just get tripped. Sometimes you uh, sometimes you're not looking. Then a DN comes, just cleans her clock. Yeah, you get hit. I did prefer blocking, hitting people, blocking to tackling. Tackling, I didn't mind, but I preferred just like really, yeah, just bam and nailing someone. Blocking is awesome. Pulling guard when they used to pull me, I love traps, that shit. dude. It's so fun when someone doesn't see you coming. Yep. You get to just level some, yeah, dude. so fucking Such sick. a cheap fucking shot, too. It's just yeah. somebody getting through the line like, oh, I got through. This is great. Just nail him. Then you get to fucking hit him and go. I still love that, dude. What's up, motherfucker? Dude, knowing the halfback. This is my fucking, this is my field. Knowing the half. <laughs> this is my fucking field. Fucking field. <laughs> <laughs> dude, knowing the halfback was behind me and I was fucking hitting oh, the ice. so was, nice. Dude, I when you block, it. when you block and you see him go by and you're like. I fucking when you love see that. him take it to the house, you're like, oh, it's the best. Oh, it's so fun. Baby football was so fun. They're, yeah. they're actually, I take it all back. They're so right. This guy was like, this is going to be the best shit yeah. ever. Come on. It was so I would fun. give anything to put the pads on and get out there with you, boy. <laughs> dude. That's, every coach ever has said that. Oh. You don't know how good you have it, dude. <laughs> the rest of your life is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> I hate my fucking bitch wife. God uh, damn dude. it. I wish I was with you kids. <laughs> dude getting fucked up as a coach and spilling the beans to the kids in the locker room it's like god damn the pussy you guys could get if i was in your school <laughs> what about this girl you guys like her oh just curious I see some of those cheerleaders <laughs> those fucking cheerleaders they're growing up huh I'd be like, what do you boys think of that <laughs> that's my dream coaching would be my dream so is fun. dude I, obviously i love being a comedian Doing stand-up comedy. Being a fucking comedian. Yeah. Uh, but there's a part of me. I have something in me that wants to be a coach. You should. There's a part. I keep. I don't know what it is. There's a part of me that keeps wanting to scream to a group of dudes, 
we got guys. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even finish the sentence. I just know I want to scream that. <laughs> Whether it's good or bad. We got guys going half-ass out there. <laughs> Not full speed. We go full speed. It's in there, dude. He's, I want it so bad. You walk, in your, you walk in your room at nighttime. No one's in there. It's fucking... Yep. <sighs> I don't know what to e. say. Yeah, I don't know what to say I, right now. I don't know what to say right now, but I'm... Listen. Yeah. Listen up. <laughs> I am so proud. <laughs> I want that so bad, dude. <sighs> Listen to me. I mean, dude, I can. Remember. I am so proud to be your head football coach. <laughs> and then they all oh. hug me. And like, ah. Oh my god! It's coming, dude. It's gotta. I'm telling you, my you second would, cancellation. I'm going straight back to high school. Football. You have to watch the movie where the guy coaches. It's like based on a true story where he coaches his sons. He was an NFL defensive oh, coordinator. Oh, the no, the Sandler Sean made, Payton. Yeah, and he goes. Yeah, it was, it was Kevin, yeah, James Kevin James. Sean Payton. Dude, the movie's good. I'm going to check it I was, out. You'll get fired up. Right. Him coming back to his high school team and he's watching his like, son's team and he's like, what's that guy doing? He's like, I'm not going to say anything. He goes down. He's like, hey. Um, and he starts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's he starts so doing fucking it. funny. I, uh, oh, there's, the uh, I got, there's a clip I have to show you. It's one of the, it's, it's, it's a great high school football clip. Mm. It's from the early 90s of uh, it's this Texas playoff game. It's semifinals. This team's down like 42 to 17 with like Two minutes left. They score a touchdown, but the, the radio announcers are from the team that's losing. Mm -hmm. and they're like, all right, we got some fight in us left. All right, good boy. Mm -hmm. And then they get the onside kick, score again. And they're like, hey, we've got, we, you never know. We got a ball game. We might, yeah. Then they get another uh -huh. onside kick, score. They're like, God damn, we're right back in this thing. Oh, Here we go, boys. Get another onside kick. They're like, we did it. Oh, my God. <laughs> they score a touchdown. They're like, oh, the most improbable comeback of all time. <laughs> There's like 10 seconds left. They kick it off. The other team returns the kick. They lose. Oh. These dudes are like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God bless those kids. <laughs> I feel sick. <laughs> I mean, it is, it is the most heart-wrenching loss I've ever seen, dude. Oh. You got to see it. These dudes, yeah. But that's when you go in Just as a coach. Just losing their mind, boys. Yeah, I love you. God damn it, I don't you gotta care. You got to say, I love you, dude. This goes deeper than winning or losing, dude. You get real deep as a coach. Yeah. Should, yeah, I love you, boys. They were interviewing the guy like 30 years later. It still haunts him. Really? Yeah, he's like fucked up from it. They from all what? are. The one dude started crying talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, man. That must be kind of cool, though. You have a group of kids. You're watching them within a short period yeah. of time, like grow, learn things about themselves and all this stuff. It is kind of become like. Become men. You get to watch yeah. them become men. True. You go, God damn it. Big. God, <laughs> you're big as fuck. What you have? This cowboy collar used to be mine. This is cowboy collar. You're gonna look so fucking cool in it. <laughs> <laughs> you're basically gonna be Stone Cold Steve Austin. Just write me letters. Tell me all the pussy you're getting now. You're gonna be so fucking cool out there, dude. You want to have a beer? <laughs> I'll give you a beer. Why don't you come to my apartment? I'll give you beers. <laughs> well, maybe if you want some girls there, I understand. <laughs> we can bring girls. Don't fucking tell anyone about this. Come over to my apartment. I have Coors Lights. I have smeared off ices on, <laughs> dude, on we chill. Get so fucked up. I have an old N64. We can play fucking <laughs> NFL Blitz, dude. I don't have any fucking friends. <laughs> I love you kids so much. <laughs> Who are you taking to the dance? <laughs> Which one like of these girls bitch. are you taking to the dance? <laughs> she seems like a bitch, dude. Honestly. The Emerald Cotillion. <laughs> dude, I want to go back. <laughs> I want to go back and coach. I was just thinking about, dude, when you're like, it's spring. Or no, it'd be, actually, sorry, that's fall for football. But it's like, it feels, it's like still warm out from the summer. You're playing the oh, first games of the season. Yeah. You're standing as a kid in football pads on a foot, like waiting for uh, a kickoff. There's no, there was no thoughts in my head back then. Yeah. I was just sitting there going, well, like, I hope the ball doesn't go to me. So I'm like, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's a lot really of pressure. I hope the ball doesn't, go to, the doesn't go to me first. So that's a lot of pressure. <laughs> but I can't wait to run or on a kickoff, dude. I'd be like, I'm going to run as fast as fuck and yeah, try to fuck just somebody fuck up. Fuck somebody up. Just fuck, I don't care who it is. Yeah. I'm running into someone. I used to love that, dude. It's the best. There's like a blur of the sidelines. There's a blur of people on the field. Like, that sounded like my dad, all right? Yeah. And you just go, I'm going to run as fast as I fucking can. Come on, Matt. Can. Yeah. It's my Matt. mom. My mom, she's screaming for me. I like vividly remember that. You're standing. I need to hit a kid from the other school, so oh, my dad's proud. Love that shit. Play tough out there. Where I get the tough. big bumps on my arms and be like, uh, "Fuck yeah, dude! I am definitely gonna be in the NFL. I'm gonna play for the Eagles." <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> just one strong kid from the other school. I hated that. Oh, one. I hated those so much kids. Bigger and stronger. The and jacked was... kid from the other schools out there. 
Gotta go fuck. I gotta block that kid. Yeah, exactly. You mad? It's always nice. He's gonna him. fuck me up. He's not my guy. And then you gotta watch him tear. Yeah, him watch him time. rip one of your friends' heads <laughs> off. Oh, oh, oh shit! <laughs> this guy's killing it. Lemare, I wish you played football. You'd been nice out there. <laughs> I uh, I quit. <laughs> I wish you hadn't quit. You no, you would have yeah. been good. Dude. You've been nice nose guard. No, I hate it running. <laughs> yeah, that does. 